Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome back, dear students. We had our writing lesson, the uh, previous one. Uh, the first part was uh, uh, actually an interesting uh, part. Uh, we are going to write descriptive essays, if you recall. Now we're going to just revise what we took in the first part of the writing. Of course, we are going to go back to the basic topic of the unit, which is influential people. We are going to write a descriptive essay describing uh, an influential person that you admire. Now we have in the writing lesson, what did we take? Now you can see that we have something about the G20. Uh, we have uh, global issues or global problems that we discussed. We have something uh, concerning writing. Now if you remember that there was a, te a text, uh, you listened to me, uh, you read with me, we had different tasks that we did within the text, uh, text here. Now the basic thing that we had was to underline or highlight the topic sentence. Now this is a very Im uh, important uh, task to do. Why? Because you are going to write topic sentences within your essay. It is very important to write a topic sentence in each paragraph to present what is your paragraph about. Also, if you recall, we had this uh, type of timeline. Now, we did the timeline in our previous lesson. There was also a timeline when we discussed the reading of Sheikh Salman al-Rajhi. Now, it is important to just order your points or the information that you have prepared about the, your uh, influential person. Now, what was the point? We had different tasks. If you recall that we underlined verbs, we uh, also filled in spaces with different words that were connectors. We had the timelines, we had the topic sentences. Now all of these tasks prepare you to write your own essay that we are going to do, inshallah. So now it is your turn. You are going to start your essay. We have our objectives to list few of the figure's achievements analyze his work in different periods of his or her life. We have to scan for information and words. Now, when you are searching for uh, the achievements of an influential person, you're going to scan, you're going to search for different information and different words that you're going to apply within your essay. Outline events using a timeline. Choose the new figure and research about his or her accomplishments. We have your organized ideas to write a new essay. So, now also, this is uh, the uh, page or the part that I showed you in the previous lesson. We are going to choose an influential person, research uh, for information, and the most important thing, we have in number three, to write a descriptive essay. We are going to describe this person within our essay using, of course, the table and to write or apply our notes. Now you have this empty timeline you can use, or if you wish to choose any type of timeline that you uh, can uh, design by yourself, you can see that we have here a timeline that is filled by, uh, actually it is about Majid Ahmed Abdullah. Uh, there is in your book a paragraph who is about this famous Saudi player who has achieved many wins for the uh, Saudi team. Uh, he's, uh, or he, he is actually uh, famous for uh, different accomplishments. He is a very famous uh, sports figure that we uh, know. Now, before we read the, uh, the paragraph that is mentioned in the book, we are going to just point out and see, are these points in order or not? Now you can see from the first one, number one, born in Jeddah. We have number two, moved to Riyadh with his family. We have number three, one of the best football strikers. We have number four, four goals, 1984 Summer Olympics. Number five, history of Saudi Arabia. And number six, written articles about his accomplishments. Now, without reading the paragraph, you realize from the timeline here that they are written, the points in chronological order. Now, he was born, he moved, after that uh, he started his career, until we have the final that we have articles that are written about him. Now, there is another point that you can see also from here, the uh, timeline that we have, that we don't have complete sentences. 
So the idea is just to gather your ideas, to gather the thoughts. That's why when I told you that you're going to scan for different information and you're going to apply the information within the timeline that you have. Now, we are going to learn from the parts that we did before we applied, which are the using the connectors, we have the, the topic sentence, uh, choosing, of course, number one, the famous figure that you have in mind, and we're going to apply it within the writing corner that we have in the book. So we are going to start. Now in the writing corner in your book, when you write a descriptive essay about a person's life, distinguish the main life events from the surrounding information. You're going to distinguish, you're going to choose different life events, the important events that happen that makes this person different from other people. Select key events that provide a complete picture of how someone's life developed from the time they were born. So usually when we are talking or we want to write about a person, we start from the very beginning, from the earliest part of his life or her life until the other parts or the stages of their lives. So you are going to see what are the basic things, the special characteristics about this person to apply when you describe this personality in the descriptive essay. List the events in chronological order as we explained then switch them around if you wish. Now, for example, having completed his studies, he proceeded to apply for any position that was advertised in his area of specialty. So you can put them in order and then just apply them using the connectors the way that you desire it within your essay. Here, I have the paragraph that is mentioned in the book. Now, you can see that we have the complete paragraph that is mentioned about Majd Abdullah in your book. I highlighted in the green parts the sentences or the parts of the sentences that are in order. So just to recall what we have in our timeline, you can see here that we have here Majid Ahmed Abdullah is a Saudi, a Saudi Arabian former footballer who was born in Jeddah, number one, but moved to Riyadh with his family. And then moving on, you can see that he scored 72 goals in 117 games with the Saudi Arabian national football team. After that, what happened? He scored four goals against India during the 1984 Summer Olympics. So here you can see that there are four main points that I highlighted and they happened in order. Now use connectors to show the order of events such as when, then, after, and while. Now do you remember when we did the spaces, when we filled the spaces with the correct connectors, it is very important to use these connectors when you are writing about a person's life. So for example, I have here, I have this character, I'm going to write about her. So I'm going to use the connectors that are suitable for the sentence. You can see here, her family had just moved to the city when she was born. So I didn't start the sentence with when she was born. You can just switch in the sentence and write it in another way. She studied college, then she completed her master's degree. So we have here then shows that things happened in order. After graduation, she joined many teams and social programs. She got married and had children while she was working, which showed how she managed everything. You can see also we have your while. Now I'm going to see here also in the paragraph that we have in the book, you can see that there are different connectors that are used. I highlighted one of them, which is when. So when we read the sentence, we have here, he was born in Jeddah, but moved to Riyadh with his family when he was very young. So when did he move? There is a kind of connector here. Now we're proceeding with the descriptive essay, the points that we want. Be as descriptive as possible, as much as you can. You need to be descriptive. How is that? 
describe the person's character, qualities, and actions, choose key events. So the key events is like when he was born, what he achieved, what did he study, what did he do. Now these are the key events that we have here. So choose key events based on these qualities so that the reader has a clear picture of the person's character as well as the person's life story. So just imagine that you are reading a complete story that has to be in the correct order to just uh, move on and understand what are the achievements that we have. Now, we have here described the person's character by using qualities or actions. I mean by this part that we can use words like intelligent. We can use also, we have here hardworking. We can say delicate, dedicated, and we have here social. So you can see that we have here different adjectives that can be used to apply and to show the qualities of this person or his or her actions. Now, going back to the paragraph they have in the book, we have here about Majid Abdullah, we can see that we have the best football strikers. He is one of the best football strikers. We have something also here. Majid Ahmed Abdullah was the all-time top scorer of the Saudi Professional League. So we have here, these are the best qualities that we can describe the player with. Moving on, when you write a descriptive essay about a person, a people's uh, qualities or characteristics, now you have gathered your information, you have scanned, you have searched, you have your timeline ready, and you are going to just join and connect all the points and the words that you have put in mind. After that, you are going to write a first draft. So the first thing is to write a draft to collect all the information that you have here then read it and make corrections or write questions about things that you are not sure about. So still you are researching, you are making sure that you have everything correct. You are going to write just to apply your ideas and then you can just go back and correct whatever you need. Hand over the draft to someone else to read and edit. Encourage him or her to write comments and questions. So this is another uh, uh, useful point that you can ask for help from other people. You can just go back, uh, read again, and then give it to someone that can help you to ask for their opinions. You can ask them to take also uh, their time by correcting and write whatever they uh, notice in your work. After that, you can read the comments and then go back and edit your essay. Now, you can also use your checklist for evaluation. If you recall, in Unit 1, we use the same checklist to make sure that you have your title, you have the indentation, you have your complete ideas, and now each idea you are going to put it in a different paragraph using topic sentences for each paragraph. You need also to make sure of your spelling, to make sure of the structure, your handwriting, to make sure that it is clear if you're writing with your uh, uh, handwriting, and we have here punctuation, and also to make sure that you are using capital letters. Now we have here the complete paragraph that we have in the book about Majid Ahmed Abdullah. Majid Ahmed Abdullah is a Saudi Arabian former footballer who was born in Jeddah, but moved to Riyadh with his family when he was very young. He is one of the best football strikers in the history of Saudi Arabia, having scored 72 goals in 170 games, 17 games with the Saudi Arabian national football team. He scored four goals against India during the 1984 Summer Olympics. Majid Ahmed Abdullah was the all-time top scorer of the, of the Saudi Professional League Many newspapers have written articles about his accomplishments. So you can see in the book that they have a complete paragraph written about this personality, the figure. They mentioned uh, their, uh, his characteristics. They used the timeline here, or they put the uh, events that happened in the correct order. You can see that we have here connectors that are used. We can see that they have applied the different structures. We have also 
uh, different uh, verbs that are used here within the uh, paragraph and all of them they are put in the correct place so make sure that you are doing the same steps and you are following the same uh, points that we need when you are writing about a different personality. Now, at the very end, we have here our outline. To select a figure, you are going to search for information, enumerate events, compose a timeline, and write a descriptive essay. So just to think about it again and to revise with me that we have here the correct points that you have to move on. So first you are going to select. After that you are going to search for your information that you need for this personality. After that you are going to enumerate the events and put them in the timeline that you have here. After that you are going to compose the timeline. You're going to write the structures that you need and you're going to just scan for more information if you need them. And the last part is to write the descriptive essay. Now using the uh, writing corner that we have here, you are going to uh, end up with a very perfect or a perfect essay that you will be very proud of. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, your writings. Now we hope that you have uh, different personalities in mind and enjoy writing about your famous figures.